and welcome to AF Math and Engineering. If you're enjoying our channel, hit the subscribe button and the like button down below as we're always releasing new content. Enjoy! Hi everybody, this is Avi from AF Math and today we are starting our first series on project management and our first concept is Earn Value Management or EVM. So what is EVM? EVM is a project management technique for measuring project performance and progress in an objective manner. This is according to Wikipedia. Now, the reason I like EVM, it's because it's a very practical tool that people actually use in the field and not like one of these tools that they teach you in university and you later have no idea what to do with. This is an actual tool that you could use. So by knowing the project performance and progress at X time, a project manager should know how much money is earned or lost for every dollar spent and the progress rate of the project compared to the original progress schedule. So imagine that you're building a house. As you can see the stages of building the house, it's kind of like from the seed to the flower. So you pick a random day and you stop the project and by knowing how much you've performed and progressed at this time, you will be able to know are we making money? Are we losing money? Are we ahead schedule? Are we behind schedule? So let's start with some key concepts that will help you better understand it. So let's start with the first one, plan value. The plan value is the budgeted cost of the work scheduled, which means that before the project starts, you say, okay, excavation will cost X, concrete will cost Y. And then when you get to the field, the actual cost is what you actually paid for concrete, what you actually paid for excavation, okay? And the earned value, and make no mistake here, the earned value is not what you plan minus what you cost. The earned value is the budgeted cost of the work performed, which may include other factors as well, other than what you just planned and cost. It could have the money that you spent on labor, taxes, work that you had to redo and things like that. So it's not just what you plan versus what it actually cost. Okay, so let's go over some formulas. The cost variance, which is the earned value minus the actual cost, will tell me if I'm over or under budget. And usually a uh, positive answer is good, negative answer is bad. My schedule variance, which is the earned value minus the plan value, will let me know if I'm ahead or behind of schedule. Again, plus good, minus bad. The forecasted schedule variance, FSA, will let me know if my project is ahead or behind in days. While the answer the schedule variance will give me is a dollar answer, the FSA will actually give me an answer in days. The cost performance index, CPI, which is the earned value over the actual cost, will tell me my project's performance. And the schedule performance, the SPI, which is the earned value over the plan value, will tell me my project's progress. And we'll now do an example and everything will be much clearer. So the following table represents a weekly analysis made by the project manager for a hypothetical project. Based on the table, what is the overall situation of the project at the end of week three? Assume the project is 50% complete at week three and the company's daily budget is $10 per day or $10 per week. So as you can see here, I have my plan value, my actual cost and my earn value at the first week, the second week and the third week. So in the first week, my plan value was $2. My actual cost was $2 and my earn value is $2. At the third week, my plan value was 30. My actual cost was 33 and my earn value was 42. You can see it also in the graph right here, which kind of makes it nicer to watch. So at week three, my cost variance, that if you remember is EV minus AC, is 42 minus 33, which is plus nine, which means that we are over budget by $9, which is good. So moving on to my schedule variance, SV, which is EV minus PV, 42 minus 30, which equals plus 12, which means that we are progressing very well. And if you remember, we assume the project is 50% complete and the company's weekly budget is $10 per week. So now we can calculate my forecasted schedule variance, the FSA, which is schedule variance 12 
over the weekly budget, which is $10. And the answer for that over the percentage complete of the project will be 12 over 10 over 0 0.5 will give me 2.4 days. And remember that the answer here is in days. So now we can move on to calculate the other things. I've summarized the cost variance, schedule variance, and uh, forecast schedule variance. I ran out of space here to write FSV, but you will forgive me. So now we can calculate the cost performance index, CPI, which is earned value over actual cost, 42 over 33, which equals 1.27, which means that for every dollar spent on the project, we are earning 27 cents in value, which is really good. And moving on to the schedule performance index, the SPI, which is earned value over plan value. So moving on to the schedule performance index, SPI, which is earned value over plan value, 42 over 30 equals 1.4, which means that we are progressing at a 40% faster rate than originally planned. So now let's summarize what we got until now. Our cost variance was over budget by $9, which is great. Our schedule variance was plus $12, which means a great progress. We are completing tasks faster than planned and earning more value. If we continue as we do today, the project will finish 2.4 days before schedule. That is our FSA. And we are currently earning 27 cents for every dollar spent. And we are progressing at a rate which is 40% faster than the rate originally planned. So this project is fantastic. Now, I have example two here, which I want you to try and solve by yourself to see if you actually understand the concept that we are going through. Feel free to go back and look at the equation presented and pause the page or even uh, take a screenshot or write it in your notes and try to find the cost variance, schedule variance, FSA, CPI, and SPI. You have everything here. And this time the project is 40% complete and the company's daily budget is $12 per day. Pause the video and try to solve it yourself. Don't be lazy. Okay, so here's the answers for the second example. The cost variance is bad. We got a negative answer, so we are under budget by $5. The schedule variance was plus 10, so we're making a good progress. And we should be... 2.5 days ahead of schedule according to the FSA, which means that we are completing tasks faster than planned, but losing value. If we continue as we do today, the project will finish 2.5 days before schedule. For every dollar spent, we are losing 8 cents in value. So notice that we are losing 8 cents and not 92 cents. My SPI was uh, 1.22, which means that we are progressing at a rate which is 22% faster than originally planned. So what's our conclusions here? The tool gained in this video can help you as a project manager get a better picture of what is going or was going in your project in a specific point of time in order to help you make the necessary future decisions. When the numbers calculated are too positive, this may be a symptom of a different problem. For example, poor quality of work, wrong type of material and bad planning. Just think about it. If you like saving a lot of money, for no particular reason, then maybe you ordered the wrong material. If, for example, you planned that your subcontractor will work for a week and you finished after a day, it means that maybe you'll get a poor quality work. So even if our answer is too positive, you still need to be aware that something might be wrong. Therefore, to increase one would definitely mean you need to decrease the other. For example, if you're behind schedule, you need to hire more workers. You understand? It's all a game of time and money. If we're behind schedule, we get more manpower. Stay tuned for our next video. We'll expand this concept a bit more and learn a few new concepts.